scattered around West Michigan are a few things remaining from a time gone by. An occasional payphone, a full-service gas station, and a major piece of history off Fulton Street that you may not even know about. 24 News 87 Dean shows us what's inside, introduces us to the woman who runs it, and explains why it won't be around for much longer. If you walk inside the Lorraine building and head for the elevator, Going up. you'll find someone waiting. Her name is Bernadette Muenberg. Okay, we'll go to three. Those who know her call her Burn. Those who don't, just call her the elevator lady. And she's the last one left in Grand Rapids. It does surprise people when I open the door and I'm standing there and they look at me like, what are you doing? You know, <laughs> and it's like, can I help you? The six-story Lorraine building is on the National Register of Historic Places. It was built in the early 1900s and this manually operated elevator. This is low speed, high speed. Two speed has been here since nearly the beginning. They said it's like a tank. It's not going to die. <laughs> Byrne first learned the job way back in 1983 from Grand Rapids' longest elevator operator, the late Bill Mitchell. She herself has been helping people get up and down for the past 35 years. Pretty much know everybody's families, kids, animals. My dogs, I always keep a picture of them on here. But soon, the last elevator of its kind in this city will be gone, too. Those who run the building, which now houses office space, have decided to finally replace it with an automated one this summer. I understand. I mean, it's technology. Everybody wants new things and out with the old and with the new. And while that will, too, mean the end of Burns time as the self-proclaimed watchdog of this age-old building, all the rides and all the memories this elevator lady will cherish forever. I'm very proud of that. You know, it's a dying thing. <laughs> Out here live, we should add Bernadette is much more than just the elevator operator at the Lorraine building. She also does all sorts of odd jobs, even helps maintain the boiler in the building. So a big loss for sure come June 30th. That is her last day.